What's going on, everyone? So another, um, or some more words of wisdom, I guess you could call them. So number one, before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe it. Either way, I'm going to be making these, but I want to give you guys some actual good information. Um, and if you shoot me or you drop a comment, I'd be happy to give you guys where I actually get this information. So today we're going to be talking about what people do. I'll try and move it around a bunch. Um, so what people do in business that creates a continuous business um, in times of kind of uh, confusion and uncertainty or how to stay afloat and how to expand no matter what. So there's four ways of exchange. So exchange of product, exchange of product or service, okay? So the first one would be no exchange. So for example, you give someone $100 and you, you're buying something and they never give it to you. That's no exchange. As a company, if you don't provide the product for the money they gave you, Obviously, over time, you're going to go out of business with a bad reputation. Number two, it's the partial exchange. If you're paying for a service and you only get partial partial of what you paid for, then over time, you're going to retract. So let's say you pay $100 for, or let's say you pay $10 for um, a meal and they don't give you a drink, which should be included. You're not going to be too happy. So you might not come back. So that's partial uh, exchange. Then there is fair exchange, and that's one for one ratio. So that's giving someone $10 and you're getting a meal that you actually wanted and everything that included in that meal that you get back. Fair exchange, one to one ratio. You pay for something, you get it in return. And then there is the um, form of, I guess you could call it out exchange, but this isn't a good way. And this is an exchange abundance. So you get more than what you pay for. So let's say you give someone $100 for, or let's say you give someone $40,000 for a car and you're only looking and that 40 grand is to represent the, the price of the car. And with that car, they give you a year warranty. They give you a year free car washes, a year full of gas. This, this is an abundance. So if you're not expecting, shoot, if you're not expecting this exchange, you only expect the product in which you can see or you knew you were paying for and you get more than what you're paying for, that's an abundance exchange that's providing more value than what um, you actually pay for. So this is this is a type of business where if you were to build it like that, where you're providing more value than expected, that's where a referral business starts or a referral business starts or where um, you're gonna actually see expansion. But for uh, the condition of no exchange, so you give someone $10, they give you nothing back, that's going to fall apart very quickly. Partial exchange, you give someone $10 and they don't give you the full service you paid for that you wanted to buy or that you expected to re uh, receive. That's gonna retract, um, you know, a little bit slower than, you know, not getting any exchange, but over time it will fall apart. Number three is a fair exchange. That's where you're getting one for one. You give them $10, you receive what you wanted, but there's really nothing unbelievable about that you're going to expand you're not going to retract but the expansion is going to be kind of you know it's not going to be it's going to be minimal but if you're giving an abundance you're exchanging you're giving more or you're you're paying at x amount of sum uh x amount of dollars you're receiving more than you expected this is where a business is going to expand um in times like now where people are kind of confused volatility going around that's the 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 sure way of getting bigger um, getting a referral business and continuously growing no matter what the circumstances are. So if you guys like that, these are four conditions. I'll actually leave them below here and you guys can kind of take from it what you want, but shoot me a, or leave a comment. We guys thought about this information and if you can apply this to your business. Thanks guys.